My personal project's title is Photography by the Sea because it consists of photography in a specific setting, which is by the sea. I chose to make this project by combining my two passions, photography and the sea. The aim of my project was to discover people's thoughts and what was the first thing they thought about and felt while staring at the ocean. The sea plays an important role in the project because it allows the subject in the image and the viewers focus on their thoughts. This because it is much more difficult to get entirely in a feeling if you are circled by things that could distract you. There is even a certain impact I would like to create on the audience, which consists in making them understand how nature brings feelings and memories and how specific photos are able to connect people to others through feelings portrayed in images. After brainstorming on different aspects of my project, especially the aim, the impact I wanted to create, and what I wanted for others to understand, I drew a conclusion to the choice of the global context, inquiry into personal and cultural expression. This global context explores ways in which we discover and express ideas, feelings, values and others, and the way in which we enjoy and reflect on on creativity and the appreciation of the aesthetics. My goal is to let the audience understand what feelings a specific moment in a particular setting can carry to different individuals and mainly comprehend, me in first person, how humans can practice empathy and connect to others by a simple graphic. So my two biggest aims are making the audience see that the ocean represents different things for each individual, meaning that people have different ways of interpreting it. And the second one is making the audience empathize into the subject of the photos, reflecting on how photos can connect people through emotions. Here you can see three mind maps I made. This one is a mind map I made to organize my thoughts before starting the actual project. The second one is a mind map I made to Uh, collected my research information and the third one is a mind map I created to gather my ideas to realize my final outcome. This is a deadline table I created to manage my time and keep myself on track with the work and it helped me a lot to never get lost and to complete my work without rushing through it. Here you can find my ATL skills I used, so approaches to learning, and everyone knows they are divided into five sections. And the two uh, main skills I use in my project are social skills, so communicating by listening actively to different points of views, arriving to an overwhelming agreement, so mixing my ideas and the ideas others gave to me. And the next one is the thinking skills, which brought me to think creatively, making fair decisions. Remaining on the topic of skills, self-management skills, such as organization, preservation, and keeping my project processing, made me move at a constant rate on the work and kept my motivation and focus high in order to reach my goal. The project was based on investigating how different individuals connected to the same feeling the image showed. And the questionnaire I sent to about 20 people, which I created, supported my investigation as evidence that my goal has been reached. Different people created different stories and situations in their minds, but captured the same concept the image wanted to transmit, which is the emotion. These are some extracts from the survey made to test people's empathy, and all of the answers I collected were the ones I was looking for. And you can see that different people had their different ways of interpreting the image, but at the end, the feeling portrayed in the image was understood by everyone. And this is another extract from the statistics. And you can see in point six that the emotion which involved the most was love. These are a few shots I took before choosing the final photos. On this slide, you can find the link to my whole process journal if you are interested to get more in depth. And you can find this presentation on the Weebly page of this personal project, 2020.weebly.com. And here you can find uh, the link for my report. Lastly, here you can find my outcome in a video format or on a simple document if you are interested to see it.
thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it.